Hey team, this is Michelle McLeod, and I'm going to show you how to make a Google form. You might want to use one in your customer shopping group. I like using them for gathering customer information. I think it's a little bit more professional. And so let me show you how I use mine. One second here. Let me share my screen with you. I'm going to show you right now. This is my um, shopping group, and I have a little shopping form in here right now. Please fill out this form once you're done shopping. Thank you. And it's pinned to the top of my shopping group. Um, I like gathering my customer information that way. It just seems more professional, and people like filling out forms. So that's why I use a form. So if you want to create a Google form, I'm gonna show you right now, but what you need to do is get a Gmail account first. So if you do not have a Gmail account, I want you to stop what you're doing and go get one and come back and pick it up right here. So now that you have it, here we go. I'm gonna show you how to make one. Okay, open your Gmail um, email account. And in the top right corner, you're going to see something. It looks like a Rubik's Cube up here in the right corner. And you're going to click on that. And then you're going to see an option in the middle. It says Drive. So click on Drive. This is your Google Drive. When you create a Google form, this is where you're going to find it. This is where it's stored. This is where the responses are stored. And the live form as well, where you're going to get the link. So everything's back in your Google Drive when you have a Google form. So um, ignore all this stuff you're seeing on the back of my screen, that stuff I've been working on. <clears throat> Anyways, <clears throat> okay, so when you're ready, let's click on this button here in the top left corner. It says new. That's your new Google Forms. Okay, you're, you might get a different option than me because I'm on Windows 10. So hopefully, if you're on um, another version, hopefully it's similar to this because I've had Google Docs and patent previous operating systems, a little bit different. So I am on Windows 10, so I hope um, you can follow along with me and this works for you. Okay, once you click on new, you're looking at this drop down menu, you're gonna click on more and then we want a Google form. See it right here, Google Forms. And then you're going to have another option over here. Click on that arrow. It says blank form or from a template. If you click on blank form, you have to create one from scratch. Don't even go there. From a template is what you want. A template is pre-made, so it takes a lot of work out for you, okay? Now look over here. Um, now I have a template gallery. Like I said, I, I don't know if you're going to get the same options if you're on a different Windows uh, than me, myself, okay? But I pick personal, see this one here? Under personal, it says contact information. Here's one already made with contact information. You've just got to modify it to your business, okay? So when you open it up, you're always going to be in edit view. So we are in edit view of your Google form. If you want to um, change that, we want to make a cute background in here. So we're going to go to the top right. You're going to look for that little artist, that color palette. I'm putting my cursor on it right now. It says color palette. Click on that. You can easily change the background color by just clicking on a color or go back to it, click on it again. Um, you could do a theme, click on this little button in the right corner and it brings this theme box up. You could select a theme or you can upload your own photo and make your own specific to your business. But for right now, I'm just gonna pick one out to make it look cute right now. And I think because Halloween's coming, I'm gonna pick these little ghosts here. And this will take a second to update. Okay, so now it just updated. So that's what my background is gonna look like on my form. And I'm still in the edit form here, edit view form, okay? So at the top here, see where it says contact information? If you just click on that with your cursor, you're going to highlight it. And you need to, put a page name on it or your form name. And I'm just putting Bling Fanatics. That's the name of my um, shopping page. And then I'm gonna put, it says form description. See that? I'm gonna put, please fill this form out when you are finished shopping. 
Thank you. So that is going to be my um, title in a description. That's the first thing they're going to see when they click on it. Okay, of course, um, this is where you've got to gather their information. So of course you need their name. These are This is already in the form for you. Name, email, address, phone number. This stuff's already here. So really you can have a form already made. But if you want to modify it, this is how you do it. You have to click into the box. This says name and it's a short answer text. Over here you can change that. You can change it to a paragraph if you want more information, but of course it's just a name, so we want a short answer so they don't need a lot of room. It's required, and how can you tell if it's required? See that red asterisk? That means it's required. Anytime you're filling out a form, you have to fill that spot in with the red asterisk, so that's how you control that. If you want to create another box, see how that says duplicate? It's going to duplicate the one you just clicked in. So brought name down because I clicked duplicate. You can have a first and last name, but I don't think I need that, so I'm going to delete that box right here. See that little garbage can? I'm deleting that. Then I have an email. Got to have email address. You want longer text in here, so over here you select paragraph instead of short answer because you need more text into that. Phone number. Um, see, it's not selected with an asterisk. It's not mandatory, but I'm going to make it mandatory. I want their phone number. So you're going to go over here where it says required. I selected that. So now phone number has the red asterisk by it. Comments. Um, we put paragraph. That's already um, selected so they could write more information. Um, it's not required. It's up to you if you want that required, but it's just a comment, so it don't need to be required. And really, that's your form. It's already made. Unless you want to go and add more boxes, if you want to add a multiple choice, you can add check boxes, a drop down menu. This is where you do all that right here. You can easily change that. Um, you don't have to click save. Every time you make um, any changes, it automatically saves it to your Google Drive. So how do you look at the live form? You're going to go up to the right hand corner up here and there's a little eyeball that says preview. If you click on that, this is your live form. Once you share that link, anybody that fills this out, you're going to get that response. Okay. So how do you share that? At the top here, you're going to highlight your URL. See how I did that? I clicked in there and hide it. It highlighted. I right clicked and copied it. And you could um, paste that right into your Facebook group or wherever you want to put that form. That's what I did on my page right here. And that's where my form is. If they click on my form, it brings up my live form and they have to fill that out. So the form I just created, this is the live view. Like I said, you always have to share that big long URL to share your live form. And say somebody um, fills it out. So I'm going to fill this one out. And I'm going to show you how to get the response. Fill this out real quick. Okay, I filled out the form. I submitted it. So this is what your customer is going to see once it's submitted. Thank you for submitting your contact info. And they can actually go back and edit their response if they wanted to. Now, how do you get your responses? You're gonna go back to your Google Drive. Remember how to get there? You gotta go back to your email. You go back to your little grid up here and you click drive. So I'll bring my drive up. Okay, here's the form we just created. It's right there in my drive. And once you click on it, you always are in the edit view. So this is the edit view. But you want to go look at your responses. See at the top here, it says responses. I got one response. It showed me a one because I just filled that out. And this is instantaneous. As soon as they, they fill that in and hit submit, it's right in your drive. Okay, and this is where you go get your responses. See, this is the one I just filled out. My name, my 
email address, phone number. So I got the responses. Isn't that cool? So here is your edit view, your responses, and then your live view. It's always under preview. Okay. Isn't that awesome? So that's a Google form in a nutshell. I hope that helps. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you are on a different operating system and you're having issues, I would just Google it. That's actually how I learned to do this is just by Googling it. So I hope that helps. Everybody have a great day and bling on.